we're talking about all the time. What's up, guys? What am I type out here? These are going to give you an My hair is gone. To smell those for less. No, so I'm just... Like everything down below the discounters. That's no puppy head, so that's a good thing. This little bit of time here. I did the hair cut myself, by the way, so don't expect it to be absolutely great, obviously. But um, this is my new look for the next couple of days. I have a wedding to go to, so... That's it. Let's talk about Mystic Experience by Anisha. I have a fragrance today called Mystic Experience by Anisha. And uh, you can find this on Aura Fragrance for almost like $130. Not bad at all. But let's just go by the notes first. And um, get straight into it. So um, this fragrance is Amber, Sandalwood, Coffee, Musk, and Oak Moss. So this is kind of similar to Sacred Oud. Um, Sacred Wood by... Um, yeah, it is kind of similar to Sacred Wood, actually, by Killian, but it doesn't have all those crazy notes. And this is kind of similar to um, Blessed Baraka by Nisho, too. I'm a fan of sand, the wood, and coffee, and all these scents in the fragrance. Um, this came from Scentbox, so you get this presentation from Scentbox, and it's a subscription-based. And uh, you get an AML decant. So we're just going to go ahead, and this is my... Um, my second box I have another box here and this was with Clive Christian's 1872 very expensive fragrance but I love 1872 by Clive Christian very good dumb reach um, because I got two bags in anyhow this pulls out like that oh this is very dark juice um, just so you know I'm not capping it says mystic experience right there um, 1484 very nice fragrance right off here I smell the sandalwood the coffee the oak moss kind of gives the coffee a more pronounced smell makes it more um standoffish standoffish meaning it projects you know the, the oak moss kind of makes it push I love this I'm not sure why people don't talk about this more frequently but I absolutely love this we're using um post-it notes to test it and we'll try it on skin too so that coffee must sound the one in the amber the amber kind of gives it that sweet that sweetness and the musk and the coffee so good this is really really good stuff i love this but the problem is I can't afford a full bottle, so I got the AML. And the good thing is about the AMLs too is that you can beat through them. Um, if you have a big collection like I do, you probably don't want to buy big bottles because you just won't go through them. So getting a 10 ml, you'll get the same experience. Then you'll live through the same experience like anything else. I love this, but I really want to test this on skin because this is very this is a very, very seductive scent. And I'm gonna wear this to bed tonight because this is a very nice fragrance. So on my skin, it's musky and oak mossy more. On my skin at least. And the coffee's there. The amber it doesn't stand off as much. The sandalwood stands up a little bit. And the coffee, musk and oak moss, really stand out. The amber gives it that juiciness, but in my skin it's not as prominent. And it kind of just stays like this for a pretty decent amount of time. As far as longevity, I've gotten... This is one of those fragrances that I absolutely love, but get poor longevity out of it. Like four hours, five hours. Look, moss and the musk comes out with the coffee more. But I like this. I think this is a very seductive scent that when you walk by somebody, you are going to smell this for sure. I absolutely love this stuff. You would recommend it so 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 good um this gets four out of five on fragrantica and um people say this is long lasting and the sea is moderate um oh cafe it's most similar to grandmaster by mind games but why do they say that 
It's just rose and coffee. Mm, I don't get that though. This is just a simple, very simple fragrance that's very, very attractive. This is like, I'm not sure if I would wear this during the summertime. Yeah, so you're saying winter, fall, nighttime, for sure. And this part of, I think this is part of their absolute aphrodisiac collections. But one I've been really wanting to try is, um, I think it might have been Divine Attraction. Did I smell Divine Attraction? What was that other one I was trying to smell? Divine Attraction, then there was... There was another one that was by Inicio, but it was discontinued. And I don't know what it is, but I still... have to try it, you know? I think it was probably Mystic Experience. I really, really wanted to try. Oh, and Psychedelic Love. How can I forget about Psychedelic Love? My thing is that the Psychedelic Love is probably one that I would personally wear, but it's I think it's for men, for women. Oh, no, it's unisex. Okay. And those are the ones I really, really wanted to try. And I think that might be my next sample. I basically, long story short, have at least sampled everything in the Nisho house except the female fragrances and except the narcotic delight it didn't dry the atomic rose have a clone of it so that doesn't really count um aphrodisiac i've tried paragon i've tried rehab i've tried musk therapy i've tried Ood for greatness i've tried less baraka i've tried Ood for happiness i haven't i think the vibrations i have mystic i have Ood for greatness new i haven't tried seven i have divine attraction is the one i'm doing now i think yes i think eight i haven't tried i think one i have tried i've tried basically all of them in a way except um psychedelic love and i think that's going to be next but i like this i really really love this scent that's why i got an aml of it but next is going to be a sato by mika left that's a more aquatic scent but this is really really good i'm not going to keep you guys here too long but it's projecting all right here yeah, it's projecting all right. It's not really hard projecting, but I can, if I sniff a little bit in the air, I'll get little whiffs of it. I don't know, maybe it might be the projection just on my skin, but uh, that's my experience with this. If you guys like it, comment below, um, and say what you guys want me to review next. I'm always buying fragrances, like I say. I have way too many decants, so definitely suggest something below, and I will try it. So next, I might try Heaven Can Wait and Psychedelic Love. So, peace out.